Let's take a second today and talk about pelvic position during running. So just a little overview of anatomy, your pelvis right here, your pelvis attaches and your sacrum in the middle of your spine and then your femurs, your leg bones are off that. So your pelvis is kind of this, this big player in the center that has to be in a stable and, and properly positioned unit for you to can run, be on a single leg for extended a period of time, which is exactly what running is. So if we're losing stability through the pelvis, if I'm running and you can see that, that hip drop or that knee valgus collapse, it's always good to look back at positioning of the pelvis. So what we call this is a, is a positive Trendelenburg. If I was standing on one leg and I was balancing and you notice that I'm dropping, so you can see I'm on my right leg, my left pelvis should be equal to or slightly higher than my other side. So I should be more in this position. Again, with keeping an upright spine, I'm not tilting to create that. My pelvis is automatically going in there. That's where we're maintaining good stability throughout this hip, throughout this core, to be in that position, to then be efficient as a runner on a single leg. But oftentimes you'll notice there's this, this drop, there's this collapse in the knee. We're losing stability uh, very often. And in those cases, what I like to throw at that is the, what's called the hip hike walking. Hip hike walking is a very simple pelvic stability and positioning exercise that you can just teach the body how to be in that opposite sided pelvic position. So you can see as I step, my right foot's hitting the ground. I'm going to lift up just straight up to the side. Oftentimes people will start to rotate and swing around. We don't want that. We just want to lift straight up to the side and then switch over to the other side, okay? So it's a very simple exercise to help really ingrain that proper pelvic positioning. So as you get and you start to pound, jump, and, and run from one leg to the other leg, that pelvis is in a very supportive position where you're not starting to overstress other areas of the body because it's not really doing its job correctly. Once we master that, going into more of a single leg stance, hip hike, foot's in good contact with the ground, up nice and tall, we can even use this running motion Hit the ground, lift, come up. We can add single leg stance to that. And we can hold that for a little bit longer. Again, we don't want to fully, we don't want to really exaggerate that motion. We're not driving the entire hip up to the, to the side. We're just lifting that pelvis just enough to be equal to or higher than the opposite side. It's very subtle, very simple in theory, but actually kind of challenging to do. So that's a little bit, uh, a deeper look, deeper understanding into pelvic position during running on single leg stance. Can make sure that pelvis on the other side is not dropping. Start to retrain with a very simple exercise like the hip hike walking, go into single leg stance. And I think that'll be a very uh, good exercise, even if it's only a warm up before you're running. I think you see a lot of benefit with that. Thank you.